Today we're taking you on a stunning home tour by the Cavi Interiors team in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. You're going to be blown away by every detail, especially the paint colors. On the road trip, one of us is here for all the design inspiration, and the other is really into finding Bigfoot. I'll let you guess it. Hey, it's FHL, and we are here with this month's home tour at Fern Seasons which is a beautiful cabin in Broken Bow, designed by the Cavi Interiors team. And I promise you're gonna wanna book this one. Yeah, it's autumn, so it's the perfect time to come. The leaves are changing and it's getting a little cool outside. So come on in. Come on. Okay, what number of tour are we with Cavi Interiors? Three or four, but it feels like a hundred because we've become family. Hi, my name is Rachel Cavanaugh with Cavi Interiors. And I'm Talia Shippert. Welcome to the first seasons. This is one of our favorite projects. So our sweet clients originally fell in love with the lot. It has the most stunning creek that runs all the way around it. So it's just like magical. You step outside, you hear the water, the deer. So we kind of paired it with some really warm neutrals, some moody vibes to kind of bring it down and reflect their family's unique culture. So it's named the first seasons and this home literally has all the feels of all the seasons. So there's spring, there's summer, there's autumn and there's winter all wrapped in one. So our clients are super hospitable and generous. So there was this little saying that the owner, Mr. Fur, had coined whenever he traveled with friends or family, he said, don't bring anything, just bring yourself. You're coming to the Fur Seasons because their last name is Fur. So we kind of took our cues from that and the four masters in this stunning home are the Fur, aka Four Seasons. So when you come in the space with the big giant hearth, it feels like just this wow, but yet it's cozy all at the same time. Well. My feeling, my automatic feeling is I'm not leaving. There so, you go. which I said at the lake house. So, I guess that's the theme in these homes is I'm just going to have to move in for sure. Yeah. And I think that's what you want, right? When you are especially doing an Airbnb or a second home, you want to feel like it's home and you just don't want to leave. You want to stay here and cozy up with a book and stay forever. Yeah, the moody vibe, but also fresh and cozy and also not too dark. I don't know how she does that. Makes it yeah. moody, but not dark dark and dim. And <laughs> it is definitely a gift that not all people have. Right. Hell yeah, y'all did such a great job. This is my favorite room that you've ever done. I'm not kidding, I could just absolutely just live here. So tell me, what was your idea for this space? So our builder had already mapped out a floor plan and we just wanted to modify it. So I actually lived in it virtually in 3D renders and we yeah. really pushed our clients, we're like, trust us. It's really good when your clients trust you. The problem when you are a designer that you run into is when your clients don't give you any liberty. I mean, you want to work within, you know, a parameter of things that they love and what they want to see, but at the same time, you have to stretch them sometimes. So you did a great job. What is the sink? This is a soapstone. It was actually left over from another job and the builder said, hey, do y'all want it? And we said, absolutely. And it fits yeah. perfectly in the space. And that's how we landed on these beautiful counters. Before it wasn't originally supposed to be a waterfall. It was just gonna be a regular top. And we're like, you know what? It's just not doing it for us. And we yeah. really pushed our clients. We're like, trust us. And it just made a, the biggest difference making changing that detail of this island. So by far, my favorite part of this whole entire large open area is the scale of the fireplace and these oversized pendants. Is it brass? Where did you find these? These are, yes. Yeah, so we actually got very lucky and it was a Facebook marketplace find. Um, we got very lucky with them being a, yeah, patinaed brass because we knew with this cabin, we wanted the nature to shine and we are like, this neat, it's such a large space with such tall ceilings. We knew it had to be grand, but still a little bit understated. 
So we thought these were the perfect fit. They are a showstopper, but they're not taking away from the nature outside of it. Yeah, they're the perfect scale. And mm -hmm. then the, uh, the light in the family room is the perfect scale. You needed something really oversized in there. The fireplace is amazing because it's massive and you have this cast stone surround and then like a brown field stone. Is that what that is yes. on there? It's great. Yeah, I we it. knew we needed something to just, again, it's such a large space. We needed something to ground it. So yes. we lived in that, this virtual rendering. And once we hit that stone and we're like, that's what's going to make it feel cozy and warm and just bring the whole space together. Yeah, that's what's great about having a design plan is that you can really kind of know, and things do evolve, but you can know and be confident this is gonna work. You guys just took this really beautiful large space and made small little cozy intimate settings with the kitchen, the bar stools, then you have this massive dining table. And then I love everything you guys have done. Of course, my favorite of all things in the space is the windows. The windows that let the outside come in and they lead you into this glorious porch. Tell me about it. Yes. So we knew, again, we wanted all the materials to just feel very cohesive. So bringing outside in and vice versa. So we found this awesome table that is a huge dining room table. We knew we wanted to, again, have that indoor outdoor living, but they want to have fun. This is for their family time. They want to enjoy it. And it has been our client's favorite thing to the outside. It's just, they can truly enjoy all their time out there. I'm totally getting one of those. They're that's, amazing. That's <laughs> so cool. I love it. You have several little places to kind of hang out there. So um, let's go. Yeah. At this point, we have toured four Cavi Interiors projects. And one thing I will say is they always have a custom woodworking project. Rachel's husband is so amazingly talented. So I thought, why not introduce a resource for you to accomplish the same thing, which is today's sponsor, Woodworkers Guild of America. They are an online resource that gives you instructional videos on how to be great at woodworking. So whether you're building a big dining table or something really custom and more complex or a small project like a little bud vase holder, they have so many tutorials for you to use for your own projects. So whether this is for you or maybe you're trying to convince your husband to build you something, <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. The first thousand of my subscribers who click on the link in description get a full year of membership to Woodworkers Guild of America for $1.49. I would say that's zero risk. Try a project. Let's get our hands dirty and make awesome things. that these rooms are all the seasons. What season are we in? So we are in spring. You can kind of tell by the like very treehouse-esque vibe that we have going on here. It's the only master on the second floor. So you feel the full height of the pitch at the top of the ceiling. We were really thrilled with this room because it really feels like honestly what our clients wanted to feel like they were one with nature and away from like the city and all the busyness. Um, you really feel that here, just being surrounded by trees. Yeah. So tell us about this paint color. Yeah. So this is Coastal Plains by Sherwin Williams. And we color drenched the rooms, which means you do the walls, the trim. We didn't do the doors in here. We stuck with our black, which is universal black. Yeah. And the floors are actually just raw white oak that have been, um, distressed and sealed. Tell us about selecting furniture and yes. pieces because this is an Airbnb. So you had yeah. to think about that. Yeah. Sustainability was something that we knew we were going to have to nail because there's going to be a lot of people in and out um, and a lot of families, a lot of little ones. So we wanted to make sure everything we sourced was sustainable. A big tip that we um, kind of look out for is reading reviews. Like we do a deep dive yeah. in the reviews and feedback. Um, we'll ask our reps like, Hey, what's the return ratio or rate? So a little diligence like that goes a long way. Yeah. Okay. The bathroom. Did you make the towel pattern up? Um, it was a happy accident. Okay. So, yes. 
Yes, <laughs> just take the credit. <laughs> we're going for like a basket weave and um, you know, we're kind of in a very remote area yes. without service. Before there was Wi-Fi, like literally we would joke when we came down here, we'd be like, we're going in the hole because yeah. it was, everyone knew we were off the grid. Yeah. Um, that's how like stunning and in the woods this home really is. It's a getaway. It is. A, it's an escape. Yes. Um, <laughs> so our sweet tall guys, um, although we had printed all of our specs and stuff, they took some creative liberties. And uh, at least in this room, we're it worked out. Well, I think you've made a new trend on accident, and I'm I'm anticipating people replicating this. Oh, well, tag us, please. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, tell us. have to tag our towel guy. Yes. Or the, yeah. towel, the towel guy. Yeah. Who did it. Yes. Well, tell us other details about the bathroom, kind of yeah. how that unfolded. Um, so it was kind of fun in here. We um, It was another happy accident was we had a hard time getting plumbing in the walls because it's on the stairs. It's along oh. the stairs. And so we decided to go with two rain shower heads, which means they come out of the ceiling instead of like in the walls. Wall. Um, so it was kind of fun. We did a double shower head shower and yeah. it's like a cute little master. It also shares a room with the bunk room or shares the floor with the bunk room. Yes. So it's great for like families, like yeah. Mr. and Mrs. can stay here. Let your four kids yeah. party you four in the kids? bunk room. <laughs> I have four kids. You do so, have four kids. Sorry, it's just easy to say, but yes. it, there are four beds in there. Yes. So, which was a happy accident, but yes. yeah. Well, tell us about that bunker. Yeah. So, um, it was a small space. We reconfigured the original architect's plans to move the door so that we could fit four oh, beds in there. Yes. And we wanted to go for cozy, so yes. we also color drenched that room. Yes. It's drop cloth by um, Fair One Ball. Fair One Ball. Okay, yeah. and tell us about the wallpaper you did yes. in the little inserts. Um, trees have my heart. People okay. who know me, it's like weird. I like really love trees. Okay. And so when we found this wallpaper, yeah, I was obsessed. It's not cost effective. Okay. So we decided to put it just in the little alcove in the yes. back for just some color. Yes. Um, it's a little, it almost gives like Winnie the Pooh vibes, but it's from Pottery Barn, so. Well, that's the pro tip. Pro tip of the day is when you find the most bougie wallpaper on the planet, you just make a little moment. Yeah, just a little area and it kind of works out. So, you know, kids can put their water glass or yeah. whatever up there, book, yeah, technology, what have you. <laughs> iPads. <laughs> iPads, if you have a teenager like me, yeah. you know, all the things. So. Perfect. Yeah, it's a happy accident. Are you ready to go? Which season are we going to next? Ooh, maybe winter? Winter? Yeah. Okay. I know he's here. I've heard. And there's remnants. There's tracks. <gasps> okay. Downstairs, we have winter, summer, and autumn. Yes. This color, this room, glorious cabin vibes. But what I love about this is people could apply the style inspiration to their own homes. Absolutely. So we were trying to go with like, we wanted it to be like a little nod to each season, not like Hobby Lobby. Well, yeah. nothing against Hobby Lobby, but not kitschy. like kitschy. Yeah. So that's what we were trying to avoid. So um, color drenching kind of Pulled it off for us. Yeah. What is this color? This color is Downpipe by Fair Ball. It's one of our favorites. It's a little blue, it's a little gray. Um, in some lighting, it almost feels like black. Yeah. Like a, like a slate yeah. um, or charcoal. Um, and it's kind of fun because it's the hot tub is just behind us here. So it kind of makes sense for this to be winter. Down <laughs> yes, yes. I thought you were like plumbing. Oh, <laughs> down I mean, I guess that kind of works too. There is a down pipe, yes. actually. Um. But uh, yeah, totally. And I did, your curtains kind of hide that every room really has access and view of the outside, right? Yes, yes. And that was the goal. Um, windows are a huge design element that are often overlooked, but that's what kind of ties you to the outside. Yeah. So, um, if you have a say, I always say all the windows, the more, the merrier. Yes. And we were just really lucky this architect um, had put in a lot of windows. I had thought for it. Okay, so yeah. tell us about, you got a lot of texture. Mm -hmm. This is kind of more like, I feel like if I was to apply this inspiration, I don't want to say man cave, but it's got the, yeah. a little bit of it's a It's got vibe. a little more masculine. Yeah. Um, we pulled in like 
the leather, some warm neutrals, a little bit of plaid. Um, we went with vintage art. Um, anytime I can use vintage, I just prefer it. I feel like it has yeah. more of a story. Where do so. you source? Where's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Usually unnamed vintage shops. Okay. Um, I am quite scrappy, but I found like some of my favorite pieces are literally like, honestly, even out here. Um, so I kind of make it a point when I travel. Um, my husband loves <laughs> going home with a U-Haul. Yes. It's so fun. Um, but yeah, I kind of make it a point to see because yes. I feel like each town has their own little vibe and history. Yes. So, so good. Well, that's a cost effective way yes. to zhuzh up your home. Tell us about the bathroom. Yeah. So, um, in all the bathrooms, we went with the tile that kind of complemented the theme. So in this bathroom, we have um, a Bianca colored, AKA white yeah. um, tile. Um, and we just did it vertically, a vertical stack um, with tight grout lines um, and just a really neutral white grout. Yes. So, well, yeah. I love the vanity light and the, Thank you. the floating vanity. Yeah, yeah. We wanted to kind of give a nod to the exterior's modern feel without fully committing to everything on the interior being modern. Yes. So that was one of our other little nods to kind of make it feel cohesive throughout. Yes. Well, right across the hallway, we have summer. Yes. And we need to know, again, paint colors and tile. Yeah. Good gravy. <laughs> so good. I love that. <laughs> um, so the paint color in there is Denise by Pharaoh and Ball. Okay. And um, the tile in there is, um, I think it's, Gosh, it's like it's stack. like a sand color. Oh, okay, yes. And it, there's like a couple different tile well, patterns in there. Well, it's like horizontal and then vertical. Horizontal yes. and then vertical. What yes. do you call that? You're putting me on the spot. Well, I don't know if there's a technical know. term at all. I can't all. recall at the moment. I you used know. it in a bathroom the other day, Did and you? I tried to Google terms, so I didn't feel like a complete goober, yeah. but... I think we just should name it if it's not named. Let's and do that. And if you know, then you tell Shout us. it out. Yes. You Let design us know in the savvy. Comments what we should know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please. Yes. Educate us. Yes. Well, you are naturally gifted. You're not. Oh, you didn't go sweet. to the the no. the design I school, I'm... but I don't think anyone would ever know. I went to the school of hard knocks. What you're doing, I mean, I would have been like, where is she trained? No. Because you have an sweet. eye for very all sweet. the detail. Every space has its own little twist, but the same vibe. And I just think that's so amazing. That's and you were sweet. telling me about your favorite room in this house. Yes, it is autumn. It's just across the way on the other side. And it's color drenched in the like dreamiest plum wicker basket which is a paint color color um but it just you feel like you're just like in a hug well okay <laughs> let's go see it come let's on <laughs> it amazing views great fire pit but no sign of bigfoot okay this is your favorite room yes was it the first you designed? It was, yeah. So the first favorite season is autumn. So it kind of came together more organically. We knew we wanted to color drench the rooms. The challenge was the ceilings are dark um, with the stain that we picked throughout. Yeah. So we knew we needed a moody mocha color. So we went with Wicker Basket by PPG. Yes. Um, and we added this huge barn door um, to kind of ground the room and really distinguish the color differentiation so you don't feel like everything's brown. You can actually see the different tones in the wall color because it kind of does pull a little plum. Yeah, it so. does. When you said plum, because at first I was like, it's brown. Is it? The, it's like a... It's like a chameleon color. It is. And it's good to know, like just for yourself personally, if there are colors that you feel like you have a natural aversion to, I think if I'm honest, mine is probably yellow. Okay. Um, so if, if you know that you're looking at a pink color, you can kind of see if it leans a little more yellow or maybe it leans a little more magenta. For my people who love their reds, there are reds that lean more plum, yeah. more cherry, There's all different kinds. And so sometimes really nailing it down is just the difference between a couple different numbers in the paint code. Yeah. And it really does make a huge difference. Yeah. Okay. I, I think a theme in the bedroom is poster beds. Yes. So in this um, home, we knew there were going to be 
guests. And so we wanted beds that were low to the ground. Also another nod to like the kind of mid-century modern. Um, but we went with like these grand, very sturdy four post beds. They're from Pottery Barn. Okay. And nothing can go underneath, which if you're a mom. Yes. It's like dreams. Good. Okay. So nothing goes to die. No. Which is very important. Nothing gets Airbnb. lost. No. Um, if you stayed at an Airbnb that doesn't have things that go to the floor, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Have you ever looked under there? Just don't. <laughs> Zero stars. Don't recommend. Um, so we knew some, we knew, we wanted things that were close to the ground. So we found these and then we found out they came in also another stall that doesn't have the post. Okay. You also mixed some green in here, yeah. which is nice because it goes into the bathroom. Yeah. So we went with like a moody velvet um, light blocking velvet curtain. curtain. Um, and I will tell you this tip, they're from Half Price Drapes. They're fantastic, shout out, y'all are awesome. Very grateful for them. Yeah. Um, they just, they've nailed it with their textiles. They're very luxurious, very sustainable, and super cost effective. Well, and they're tall, so they yes. make the room look bigger. Yep. Talk about the bathroom. Okay, so the bathroom was such a treat because we got to put in a freestanding tub. Um, there's no other bathtubs in the home. Um, so that's kind of like a treat. Um, and not a lot of Airbnbs don't have them too. So um, it's right beneath the window and there's a huge shower that's just like, it like takes my breath away. I oh yeah. It. So yeah. it was a treat to get to design that space. Well, I love the pattern of the, you know, it's like more modern. It's not your standard brick and the color, you're yeah. brave, and the contrast with the grout. Yes, we felt, you know, and sometimes you want the grout to match if you're looking for a more earthy color, but with as dense as this room ended up, I was like, I feel like we need some, some light in there. So we are super excited to have FHL here to just showcase not only our work, but our client's beautiful home and hoping that we can show everyone this space and they can, again, rent it out themselves and enjoy this serene escape. I hope you guys enjoyed the home tour. I guess I'm staying a little bit longer than intended. I have no idea where my mom went. Maybe uh, on her Bigfoot hunt. I, I don't know. I'm going to go. I'm going to go uh, hang out in there for a little bit until I find her. <laughs> We loved our stay in your beautiful home in the woods. We will be back. Best FHL design. <sighs> P.S. No sight of Bigfoot. Sad face.